happy 4th of July. I am trying to get these 4th of July videos up to where they're useful for you for 4th of July. I'm sorry I've been so backlogged. Anyways, I want to show you guys a 4th of July design that you can offer on Friday and Saturday and hopefully it will help you get painting uh, done faster and cooler. Um, I was just in LA for the makeup show and I was introduced to a new product. It's old and new. It is um, the Ben Nye Magic Cake Aqua Paints. And basically why I fell in love with them over the rest of my paints or why I'm really enjoying them is I live in South Florida where it's super duper hot. And because these are a powder based paint, they do not melt. So for summer, that is totally ideal, where the other cream-based paints, like your Wolf and your Crown and Snazaroo, they all melt. So this is huge for me. It requires a little bit more water, but I absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do is take both blues to start off with, and I'm going to mix them so that I can give her a little bit of eyeshadow. This is a damp sponge, okay? So this is just a 4th of July design. So I mix both of them on one sponge. And then this beautiful model named Phoenix is growing up the, right before my eyes. So close your eyes. So I just start off in the corner of the eye and just kind of sponge in the color. So I sponge it right over it on both sides. And if you mix these colors with the metallic white from Wolf Brothers, oh my gosh, they are amazing. So I'm going to go right up over her eyebrow on both sides. Now what I'm going to do is using the metallic white from Wolf, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the pink for the cheeks because, you know, I like to give the cheeks a little bit of color too. So just metallic white and this Ben Nye pink. Okay, so then I'm just going to kind of dust it very softly on the cheek, give it that little pink tint. And it's okay if the eyes, like for instance, I got a little bit extra under her eye. Take the back wet part of your sponge and just wipe off where you went a little overboard. That always works. Next, using my 4th of July Artie Cake, I'm going to build a mask for her. And this design you can just do on the arm or on the side of the eye. Um, so what I'm going to do is just load my brush back and forth so that I pick up the colors on there and I'm going to use it to draw my star. So starting off right in the middle, um, I'm going to create the star by just pressing down and then I'm going to build the star right around it. And it's okay if it's not perfect the first time because you can always go in and outline. So I'm just building my star with my Artie Cake, which gives me that nice automatic outline. Even though it's not perfect, you know, working on the forehead can be a little bit harder to do, but, um, but it's definitely doable. So now that I have my star in the middle, what I'm going to do is come down below the eye. You can look right at the camera. Using the darkest color on the bottom, I'm going to head straight, lay it down, and pick it up. And then, again, I'm going to repeat on the other side. So I turn a little bit this way. I'm going to just come up and just kind of bring it down that way. And because you're loading all of the colors on your brush at once, it makes it a lot easier to get that really funky blend. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just load my Artie Brush Cake again. And this time I'm going to be picking up more of the red so that I can incorporate some of the red in there. So all I'm doing is just starting off on the tip of my brush, press down and swoop in. I'm going to repeat on this side, starting off with my red, if you can turn a little bit this way. I'm just going to make a few swoops heading up on this side. And I'm going to just fill in where I need it to here. So I'm just swooping it around. So lastly, what I'm going to do is just go and fill in with some extra stars and clean up wherever it might be just a little bit messy. Obviously, I want to give my star up front. Uh, right in the middle a little bit more shape so that um, it looks really good. So what I'm going to do is just go in and give it a very slight outline using white. So I outline that and then 
teardrops are just crucial for making designs look better and fixing. So I'm just going to bring some teardrops into my star and then bring my teardrops up around here so that if you turn it right this way, I brought my teardrops just right up there so that I can uh, give it a little bit more shape and movement there. So again, now what I'm going to do is just fill in by adding a few stars of different sizes and dots. You can see that. And then if you can turn a little bit this way, again, I'm just going to come up, follow the shape of my design, bring it up here, and again, with my different size stars, and I'm going to add a few more dots. Now notice what I did in the middle of the forehead, which is always important. Um, since I laid my finger up, down, look in the camera, um, I smudged the white a little bit. But this is okay because all I'm going to do is just go in with a baby wipe and just kind of fix where I made a mistake. It's good to make mistakes on camera because I am a human painter and we all make mistakes, but that shows you how to get it fixed. So what I'm going to do is just make a little starburst right in the middle of my star. And there's a lot of things you can do with this. You can make another out, outside layer, outside border. Or you can leave it as it is. It's up to you. I just did that to kind of dress it up a little bit more. And then what I'm going to do is just add some dots right on this side as well. And fill in my dots here too. Just to kind of bring the whole design together. So it's going up and over the eye. She's so beautiful. And then, of course, to finish it off, i got to give her some glitter and lipstick. Is that okay, Phoenix? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Something told me you weren't going to say no to lipstick, right? Not at all. Okay, so I'm going to just mix a little bit of the red and metallic white, and then I'm going to paint it right on. And again, when I'm painting on the job, I always bring uh, Q-tips, and I use one per kid throw them away. That way it keeps me safe. And it tickles, yeah. Tickles a little bit less. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glitter right on her. Because she's my 4th of July hot stuff, right? <laughs> she's growing up so fast. Okay, and then, um, this is really a, my favorite step right now, is actually when I, I'm going to add just a little bit of pink glitter on her cheeks right on top of the blush that I put on because putting pink glitter right on top of the pink just makes it pop. And I know it's a little harder to see in the camera, but I think that you'll get that back. So, you want to see in the mirror? Yeah? Alright. You like it? Alright, so now what I need you to do is just look in the camera and wave and say Happy Fourth of July! Happy Fourth of July!